Hey, hello there, and hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. So this clay bears a little different during monsoon. So in this video, we'll see some tips how to handle it. Also, I guess they have introduced this new packet these days. I guess since last two three months. So if you are living in monsoon areas or areas which have a lot of rain, then what happens is that the humidity in the air increases, right? So because of that. Uh, nothing happens to the resin part. You can see this is the open resin. I'll take out a good one. Yeah, see, this is this is resin part, the white color one. And nothing happens to it. But what the scene is, the scene happens is that to the hardener. This hardener you can see. The hardener you can see it becomes very sticky. Like if you like if you opened a new packet, you can see this is not that much sticky compared to this one, which is very sticky, right? You can see over here but this does not create a problem at all you can surely mix with the help of this mix this and you know it completely works it is completely fine but the only thing is that when you are mixing these two what happens is that it becomes too sticky so while you are mixing is the clay can stick to your hand a lot so just remove the clay from it and and you can completely work on it. Also, the plus point of this is that it increases the drying time. Many a times we find that while working on fabricable mold, it, uh, the time that we get is very less because within one and a half hours of time, you can, uh, you know, it sometimes it's difficult to make complex shapes. So what happens is that it increases the drying time around by two hours. So you get a half hour extra. So you can completely work on it. So if you think that the clay is too sticky, then do one thing is wait for around 20 minutes and then start working on it. Or you can simply start working on the clay. No problem. There's no issue with that. And also from this, we can learn that if you want to purposely increase your dying time, like that is if one and a half hour you think it's much less for you, then do one thing is add some water while mixing. I just do one thing is that add some water to the hardener and make it a little moist. It will be sticky though. But yeah, you can surely, then after you mix it with the resin, so you can surely, you know, increase the stickiness of the clay and thus increasing the time. So it will take more than one and a half hour or two hours. So you get more time to work on. And if you don't want your hardener to get more soft or more sticky, then do one thing is that if you have a tight, airtight box like this, now see you can just simply keep it inside here close it tightly and then you know you can keep it safe i'm not saying that this will not you know help the harden to not catch moisture it will catch moisture but it will take a time to do so compared to if the harden is kept in open also many times it becomes very sticky to remove this hardener from this packet right so what you have to do is use a spatula for this and just you know scrape it off like this so you can completely remove without dirtying your hands now, of course i mean your hands will get a little bit dirty as you are working on clay and you're making art but yes i mean you know this can make your work less tedious of course whenever you're using spatula and if you are a person who is if you're a kid who is below 12 years of age or below 15 years of age please take parents advice or please do this under parent supervision while using any sharp object like this okay also coming to the coloring part but before that please hit the like button and also do hit the subscribe button if you haven't that helps my channel a lot thank you so what i'll do over here right now is that is i'll just give color uh, black color why i'm using black color was because black color usually absorbs more heat and hence during you know monsoon or during areas or in areas where the climate is humid colors like black or dark blue or something like or any color like that you know they they don't dry up easily and hence even after sometimes you can see that the color hasn't dried and when you move your hand on it it, it can stick on your hand and now I kept it to dry for some time and still you can see if I rub this you know this thing gets on my hand so to avoid this I always suggest that use a hair dryer if you have one wait a second if you have a hair dryer you know set it to hot mode
And since once you spray some hot air on it, you can see there is nothing. There, it, the black does not come on your hand compared to this, right? But still, if you can see, I mean, there is still a little, not much, but a little. This will go away after some time. You can keep this to dry. Now, if you don't have an air dryer, it's completely fine because it will take a little time for the color to dry. But after some time, it will surely get dry. So, but thing is that some for us artists, sometimes the problem is that we need to work fast. So. We don't want just because of the drying time our artbox to get delayed. Hence, we use a hair dryer for that. So, if you don't have it, it's completely fine. But if you have it, then it's always better. So, lastly, if you use a varnish on this, I'm currently using Liquitex varnishes. So, if you use a varnish on your paint after it's completely dried, then that will protect it from humidity and other dust issues as well. So. It's always good to varnish your paintings or your artworks or your sculptures because that helps the paint stay as it is for a very long time. And even I'll suggest that even after after using a varnish, you just you know use a air dryer and completely make the varnish to make the varnish dry because the drying time of the varnish also increases during humidity. Hence, I always suggest to use a varnish and then after air dry it. So thanks a lot for watching this video. Uh, this was a very short and a simple video. And if you think that this information was very useful, then please do hit the like button. And also, uh, do recommend this video to your friends who, who are working with Moldit or who want to start working on Moldit. Also, you can check out my other videos as well. I, have, I post various tutorial videos on my channel. And till then, see you next time with a new creation.